everybody. I've missed you guys so much. Welcome to our back from vacation grocery haul. So I'm sorry, you guys. I just decided not to film during vacation and just have a vacation. And it was really, really nice to see family and relax together. But we are back home. Videos are coming back at you. So I hope you guys will stay tuned. Um, my biggest tip for coming back from vacation is just go ahead and do a Walmart grocery pickup if you have that available, which I think most people do now. Um, yeah, it's just a lifesaver. You know, Aldi's cheaper. I could go to Aldi, but honestly, our fridge was so empty. It would have been a big wig haul. So I decided to just put in an order and we just picked it all up. <laughs> that was amazing. You could even schedule like, you know, to have it, put it in a few days you, before you get home from vacation. It's all ready to go when you get back. But I decided to keep the meal plan pretty easy this week. Um, let's see. We are going to have grilled cheese and homemade tomato soup. We're going to have homemade crunch wrap Supremes. We're going to have breakfast for dinner one night. Um, what are some of the other things? Hot dogs. Really simple things that we can easily make. Mark is coming in here with a very loud sound machine. Hold on, you guys. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, um, this is $122 from Walmart. Now, I am getting a produce, imperfect produce box this week. I'm testing it out. Be looking for a whole video on that. But I'm getting a lot of produce there. That's why there, you don't see as much produce as normal. Also, I just realized there's a few things I forgot. Doesn't that always happen? So I may have to run into Aldi and get a few things. Now, we try to stay right around $150. It's going to be a little bit more than that this week just because of testing out the produce box for you guys. It's more of a YouTube expense than a grocery expense, but we will eat the stuff. Um, and I need to get mostly what I forgot is cereal bars. And um, this is where we keep our snacks for the kids. And... This may look like a good many cereal bars. I don't know what we have eight here. Um, this will not be enough. <laughs> we, my kids go through cereal bars like it's going out of style. We have plenty of applesauce, plenty of cookies, but the cereal bars. And I feel like there was something else I forgot. What was it? I don't know. It'll probably come to me. But yeah, we have plenty of cookies. I actually ordered a big pack of cookies on Amazon. That was really cheap. So we have plenty of those, but let me show you guys what we're having this week. I also had to get stuff for lunches and breakfasts and all the things for summer. You guys, I actually took the time and like really wiped down my fridge. It's not very organized, but you can see like how empty it is. I was like scrounging up stuff for them for dinner last night. We have hardly anything in there. So let me show you guys what we have here in this grocery haul. So first of all, String cheese, I keep forgetting to buy this. Lucy really likes it, and it's a good snack, stuff like that. So, string cheese. We need this some medium cheddar for the, what was this for? Oh, I'm also going to make a homemade hamburger helper. I made that a long time ago, and David really likes it. It's just like cheeseburger homemade hamburger helper, but it's, like, not packaged. It's all homemade. <laughs> so, I needed this for that, and also for, I'm making sausage balls for the breakfast for dinner thing. So I'm going to use that for that too. Gala apples. Um, I wanted to try these. I thought the kids would like them. These cheese it snapped double cheese. There's 12 bags. I think it was like $4. Cantina style tortilla chips. These are really good and they're like 92 cents. The whipping cream is for the tomato soup. I went ahead and got a big thing of sour cream because we are completely out. I like to just have that. We're also out of American cheese. That's always good for grilled cheese or breakfast sandwiches or many different things. David really likes celery and peanut butter. So I thought this would be good for his lunch. You get, this is probably not the cheapest way to buy it, but it's just the easiest way. Four packages of these little snack size celery sticks. It was only like $1.50, something like that. And then I got him the creamy peanut butter little individual cups. Y'all know Nate is allergic to peanut butter, so I just prefer not to have to dose it out on my own and just keep it all contained, and one of these can just go with David to work. The cream cheese is for the sausage balls. The block cheddar, I believe I got this for the hamburger helper, and then this is going to be for the sausage balls and for the 
something else just to have because I think the hamburger helper I'm remembering um, does better with the freshly grated. Let's see. Bananas. I'm going to try not to miss anything because I usually forget something when I'm watching these hauls back. Bananas. I'm glad they gave us some nice green ones. I like them green and they last longer. I hate when you get them and they're like really ripe. The person who shopped our list did a really good job this time. Um, when we have hot dogs, I thought we could have some chili with it. So this is the Hormel chili with beans. I got a head of lettuce um, just to have for the Crunchwrap Supremes or salads or anything else we may want. Uh, we needed some more straws. I do have um, tons of reusable ones, but occasionally we really need these, um, especially for Nate. He really likes to use a regular straw. Um, taco seasoning. I really like the Great Value one. So I got two of those. So hot dog buns, and I was feeling these. These are super fresh. Way to go. Great value. I've been wanting hummus, and so I really like these individual cups. They just last so much longer because I don't overeat them, and it doesn't, like, dry out and get all gross. But I'm kind of bummed because I also ordered pita bread, and they were out. And they tried to substitute it with, like, um, the Joseph's pita, which I like okay, but it's just not what I wanted, so I rejected the substitution what you can do. Um, it's not bad. If you like the Joseph's pita, it's, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not, I kind of wanted like a thicker pita, but anyway, um, maybe I can find some when I go in for the cereal bars, but this is really good. I got David some cashew sweet and salty bars. Cornstarch is for the hamburger helper. It calls for a little bit of that. And then for our breakfast for dinner, I thought I would try these. I've heard people in their halls say that these are really good. And this is these little things of hash browns, it says it serves seven. Like you put water in them and rehydrate or I've never used these. So if you guys like these, let me know all your tips. Do these really come out good? It's hard to imagine that this little box that was like a dollar and some change serves seven. I don't know. We're going to try it. Okay. The secret ingredient for my sausage balls. I'm going to try the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit sausage balls. Does that not sound so good? So I got some cheddar bay biscuit mix crushed tomatoes are for my tomato soup and with the tomato soup I wanted like a really gourmet-ish <laughs> grilled cheese so I got the really good artisano or artisano whatever you say however you say it the really good bread to go with it um Lucy and Mark really like the chocolate chip muffins and it's summer well I buy these all year round must be real but Anyway, they don't have them every day. <laughs> they really like these, and I like to get like the huge box at a time. It's a little bit cheaper that way. Um, I've been looking for some kind of cooktop cleaner. I'm always worried I'm going to scratch my cooktop, but it really needs a good clean. So this was like $6, and it came with like the cleaner and like a little scraper thing and a little sponge. So I don't know. We're going to try it out. I was kind of hoping these would be a little bit bigger. These are the um, what I'm going to use for the crunch wrap. So our crunch wraps might be a little smaller than Taco Bell's because I feel like once you fold this up, it's going to be pretty small, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So these are the Chi Chi's burritos. Now for this, um, I'm kind of trying something with mine and Lucy's hair because I noticed when we were in the pool, both of our hair was super wavy and I'm wondering if we can make it a little, it's not going to be curly. We don't have curly hair. I don't think, but, um, I had actual curls in my hair just being in the water. So I thought maybe we'd try some curl shampoo. This is the Curl Nourish from Garnier. I don't know anything about it, but we're going to try it. And then I also got some curl cream. This is the Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream. So we're going to try it and see how it goes. Um, just for portion control, I got some little nacho seed nacho cheese sauce packages these are four little cups i love y'all know if you watch my hauls the rico's nacho cheese sauce is my favorite and normally we buy like the can um, and i've bought the little packages before but i just thought what happened i just thought that this might last you know last more than one time i got some black beans i got some elbow macaroni because we're running low and we need it for this week I got some better than bouillon chicken base. Um, I need chicken broth for the tomato soup and I just prefer using this instead of chicken broth. It's so good. 
I got my little babies some Danimal smoothies. This is the six banana split and six strawberry. Mark loves these. <laughs> he loves those. Nate needed more of his tenders, so these are the Tyson ones. I really wish I was at Aldi because it was a little bit cheaper there, but I'm not. So <laughs> I went ahead and got those. Um, strawberries were on sale this week. Mark, can y'all see this over here? Marky, you too loud. You too loud. <laughs> what are you doing? He's got to come say hi. He's got to come say hi to all of his fans. Say hi, people. Okay, no. Strawberries were $1.50 a pound, so I got this two-pound container for $3. Grapes were $0.75 cents a pound, so this whole thing was, I don't know, a couple of dollars. Two whole milks. We're kind of slowing down on the milk. Um, usually, the two would not last us, but Mark has really slowed down. Um, Lucy's slowed down on milk. Nate still drinks a good bit, but I don't know. I guess because it's summer and they're drinking other stuff more, more water. Um, we just got two and that should be more than enough. I got David some Coke Zero Cherry. They have been out of the Diet Dr. Pepper Cherry and the Diet, no, what is it called? Dr. Pepper Zero Cherry, but they did have that. So I got him that. Um, I've been wanting a cooling rack because I used to have one of these and I think it, I don't know what happened to it. It died. <laughs> it got warped or something. Um, so I picked this one up. It was only like $4. And what I used to do with this is I would, of course, use it as a cooling rack. But I would also put it in a cookie sheet and bake bacon on top of it. And it would like hold the bacon up off the pan so it didn't like get the grease, kind of drip the grease through. I'm hoping this is safe to do that. It doesn't say it's a baking rack, but it is all metal. So we're going to try. Let's <laughs> see how it goes. Of course, what is a Walmart haul without Mark's favorite popcorn chicken? Actually, all of us really like this. It's so good. And then I also got Lucy her favorite, the patties. So how do my kids all like different chicken? I don't always buy it because Lucy will eat either one. She'll eat the nugget, uh, the popcorn, or the tenders. But um, anyway, she really does like the patties too. And uh, Dave likes these. And I can make sandwiches with them and stuff. So I just went ahead and got it. And then the watermelon, um, I don't know. I hope this is a good one. I've had not the greatest luck this summer with picking out watermelons. So we'll see. Um, I don't see a yellow spot on it. There's a little yellow spot right there, but not a great one. But there is a lot of like webbing, which is what they say to look for. And it does feel, sound kind of hollow. So we'll see. Um, this was only like $3.50, $3.98. I can't remember. It was three something. I thought that was pretty good. So all of this was $122. Actually, that was with the pita bread. So probably around $119, um, which is not bad. And like I said, kids are in here getting into cabinets. Like I said, we do have an imperfect produce box coming. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited about it. And uh, we'll see what kind of things come. And I did get to pick them out, but how they look and stuff. And I'll let y'all know. But anyway, this is it for the week. And I'll see you guys back later. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all later. Bye.